Hello guys, welcome to our online lesson. My name is Mr. Nate. So we go on with the previous lesson and um, don't forget that we actually learned how to use the autofill, you know, function where we had to automatically fill the remaining numbers. I told you Excel is a powerful tool. You don't have to type all the figures. Sometimes Excel understands the patterns or the sequence at which you are inputting your data and then Excel can help you fill up the remaining. Now, the next thing we want to do right now is, so I want to quickly teach us how to insert a row or a column, you know, after which you are done typing or you've typed some things. For instance, this, um, this record that I am trying to keep, I'm supposed to name each of these records, but unfortunately I didn't. But we can still make that adjustment. All we just need to do is to insert a row above this. All I need to do is to right click here and then I click insert. And then it will ask me, what do I want to insert? I could say, I want to insert row. I will just click OK. And then we can see that it has inserted the row for me quite easy. Let me do that again. All I just need to do is to place my cursor anywhere here and then I, I right click on that particular cell. I'll click insert. It will ask me, am I inserting a row? Am I inserting a column? Am I inserting a shift? Am I shifting cell down or I'm shifting cell right? But I'm inserting entire row. So you can see I've inserted my row. So I will just double click to now start filling with the title, serial number. Here I will say name. I'll type name here. Then here I'll type first assessment. So what I am actually trying to do is to create a report, you know, sheet. Um, you know, we all do, you, we do activities in school. We do CA, we do tests, we do midterm tests, we do exams and also I want to use this to create like a result sheet. Now, um, this might not be exactly how your school or your teachers do it. We just pretend like we're doing it right. What I want us to achieve here is to learn how to use Microsoft Excel formulas and then to also learn how to you do some basic calculation in Microsoft Excel. So what we're doing might not be exactly what your school do or what they do in your school, but basically what we are particular about in this lesson is to learn how to use some of the features of Excel. Then here, first assessment. So I'm just going to write, I'm going to write first CA. So first CA. Then the next thing is I would say second CA. Then here, um, okay, so um, let me just put the figure. So let's say first CA, Shola scored 20. Uh, no, let me say 10, 9, 7. So I'm just assuming these people scored this figure over 10. So the first CA is going to be over 10. The second CA2, I'm going to tell you, but give me a few minutes. Let me quickly type all of the figures, then we can come back to the video. So you can see I have entered all of the figures here in this in this column. Let me zoom in so you let me zoom out so you can see. So you can see I've entered all of the you know, figures from column C. So we will just, so let's assume that this second CA, the teacher decided to multiply the um, first CA by two instead of setting, you know, another test for the student. So I'm just gonna write two across the whole of the, now, don't forget I told you that Excel has the autofill function where you don't have to type all of the figures. All you just need to do is to drag and drop and then the Excel will fill up, you know, for you. However, you can just click on any of the figure number two here or this particular cell where you have, where you have number two, sorry. And then you can double click on the tiny arrow here this is the autofill button this button you can see here it is the autofill button you can just double click and then computer automatically fill the remaining cell with the figure 
or you can drag and drop just like i showed you the other time you can just drag and then drop so there are several ways you can do this so you can easily drag and drop but i think the fastest and the easiest way is to just double click on the auto fill button here and then the computer would automatically fill so um the teacher decided to multiply the first c by two in order to get the um, total score so let's assume that the total score is 20 for the c so the teacher actually decided to multiply the first c by two to get the midterm score so let's call it midterm score mid term score don't forget i told you that you can always double click here in order to create more space here now all you need to do is we want to learn how to multiply cell so um, as you can see i have actually entered all of the um, figures for the second c don't forget the teacher has decided to multiply the first c by two in order to generate the total score for midterm because the teacher feels there's no need to retake a second c that happens sometimes in school and um, so we will just name this particular cell we'll call it midterm midterm score so i won't want to type the midterm because of space i'll just type empty score so i could drag this a little bit so now all i need to do is to now multiply the first c by two now in microsoft excel whenever you're typing formula you need to use the equals to first so you start by typing equals to so what i want to do is to multiply c first c of shola by two now don't forget i already told you that all of these cells have their names so whenever we are using microsoft excel we identify we call out the cell names instead of the number so i won't say 10 times two it doesn't really make sense but it's correct but you know it doesn't make excel work for you when you do this it means that you must you can as well use your um bar and paper to do this but excel is more powerful than all of this this is the reasons why we need to learn how to use formula so to do this i'll start by equals to then i will use the cell name i will say c don't forget this is c2 because i'm actually calculating the figure here c2 times d2 now in microsoft excel the asterisk sign represents times just like what you can see here this is what we use for the times uh, or for the multiplication that's what we use as the multiplication sign so i'll just click enter it will give me the answer i can do the same thing here i'll say equals to c4 or c3 rather times d3 enter i could do the same thing equals to all i just need to do is to click manually i'll just click c4 times d4 and then computer will give me the answer now there are other ways we can do it we can say it's equals to c then the, the other way is to type manually c5 times d5 now you know what i did initially was that i typed equals to and then all i did was just to click d c six times d six so you can use any of these feature now don't forget i told you that microsoft excel has the autofill function where you don't have to necessarily have to start typing all of this formula one after the other excel can automatically help you you know generate the remaining result because already excel ex ex understand you are working with a sequence however excel work with formulas 
all you see is the figures but what excel see is the formula so for instance if you want to see the formula for this particular answer here you can double click it will show you the formula you can see equals to c2 times d2 you double click on this particular cell it will show you the formula equals to c2 times you can double click on each of these cells to see all of the formulas that was used now since we are working with the autofill you know button we can highlight everything here and then we just double click the autofill button here and then computer gives us all of the results here now the next thing we want to do is to put the um exam score exam let's just type exam score now i could double click in order to create more space so i'm going to also generate exam score for all of them so let's assume that in the exam exam is over um 80 shola scores 75 tino scores 65 bolu score 24 ade score 56 i'm just typing their names sorry guys i'm just typing names typing their results rather uh 28 let me type 89 um let me type 67 um nine not 90 let's type 45 let's do 60 for tino let's do 80 for nat let's do 47 for light day because of time i could just highlight everything and then copy and paste i'll just highlight right click copy and then I come here, right click, I'll just paste. I'll just paste. I'll just paste. I don't have time to start typing everything. Okay, so I'm done typing. Now the next thing is, I have typed the exam score now let me type the full let's calculate their full score so at this point we learn to use the addition formula we learn to use the addition formula so all i just need to do is to add the midterm score to the exam score that will give us the full score so how do i do that equals to um equals to e2 don't forget we are adding e we are adding the exam score to the uh, midterm score to get our full score so i'll just say e2 plus f2 it will give me my answer my answer is 95 so how do you get the f sign all you just need to do is to hold your shift key and the equals to button you find it at the top um right of your keyboard so i'll do the same thing for if i equals to e3 plus f3 gives me the answer i could highlight this too and then use the autofill function to get the results so you can see this is the full score of each of the students so we've been able to calculate their total score we've been able to calculate their total score by using the addition formula now another thing we can also use to do addition is what we call auto sum so let me undo this let me undo this let me undo this i could just highlight these two cells and then locate the auto sum button here i'll just double click or right click on auto sum or left click on auto sum rather i can highlight these two together I'll just click auto sum it gives me the answer i can right click on this and double click it will give me the same result now we've been able to calculate the uh, we've been able to we've learned how to use addition we've learned how to use multiplication let's also learn how to you know calculate average so let's assume you, we want to calculate the class average here i could just call this class average class average class average 
Now, there is one feature in Microsoft Excel that I want to explain to us. Um, it is called um, um, it is called Merge and Center. Now, why am I using Merge and Center? I'm using Merge and Center because um, I'm using Merge and Center because okay. Sorry, that Merge and Center. That, there's one feature I don't have to use it too, and so I will, I will remove it. I'll remove it. So that once I, that point I was talking about major and center, there's one feature on there. We will take that off. Sorry about that. Um, so let's just calculate the class average, and that will be all for today's class. So I want to calculate the class average. I'll just type class average, and then I could just double click this to give to create the space for the class average. So all I want to do is I will just type equals to average. I open a bracket and then I could say G two to G forty one. So I'll say G two double colon G forty one. I'll close the bracket. And then the class average is 74.95. So basically in this class, we've learned how to calculate using the formulas. We've learned to multiply, we've learned to add, we've also learned to calculate class average. Please, I want you to practice this. I want you to use this particular exercise to do other activities. And I'm sure that you will find this interesting. Now, please, this is not all you need to learn about Microsoft Excel. This is just the beginner's class in Microsoft Excel. In our next class, we would advance this particular lesson. I hope you've learned something tangible in this class, and i like to see you in the next class. But don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.